move my camera to behind the car here so we can get one of the muffler for you. Uh, start up from inside the car real quick. You can see the gauge is cold. All right, let's do a quick walk around. Take a look at the car. I'll show you the door jams. Get a good close look at those. Because I don't know if we did a good job on the photos and those, but. Let you get a good look of all these detail areas. See how just just how nice this car is. All the stickers look good. There's the body tag. The camera will focus on it. Yeah, maybe not. There we go. Okay. Look at the doors. Let's see here. Bottoms of the doors are super clean, super nice. Better look at the door panels. Okay, on the There you can see it's got a few scratches from fingernails, but overall that's super nice there. Um, Tear super clean. I got the original mats in there right now. We also have a set of um, just like generic replacement mats they fit okay but you know that way you can keep the originals nice those will come with the car look at the back seat looks pretty good floors look good back there carpet's really nice okay let's close that get a wider look at the car we'll go up close here Around the rockers, the bottom edge of the car. When they repainted the car, they couldn't get the the right Conquest TSI vinyl, so they put this orangish red vinyl on. But the previous owner did find um, the original black vinyl, which is with the car um, and could be easily installed. store okay sorry it's a little bright out I'm gonna get my shadow 
avocado out of the way there. Let's see. Give you a look up here inside the door jam, maybe. There we go. See just how clean it all is. This door. back from this side. Oh. Camera doesn't want to go in like that. Okay, there we go. Shake this a little bit. Okay. Go ahead and go around to the other side here and pop the hatch and the gas cap door. Okay. It's in super nice shape in there. Um, appears to be an original gas cap. It's got the Chrysler Conquest badge and then the Mitsubishi badge there. Go ahead and close that. Okay. Hatch goes up nicely. It's got a good cover here. Carpet's in really good shape on that. All right, there's the six disc changer that someone, that the previous owner added to the car, but it's Velcroed on, so you can actually remove it. And then the wiring for it is just tucked in here underneath the carpet. It comes right out easily. Um, doesn't seem to have done any damage here. The carpet's not frayed or anything from the Velcro. So that'd be easy to get rid of if, if you wanted to. Um, still got the uh, partial strap, luggage strap. It's in good shape. Um, this is nice down in here. It's got all the, it's got the funnel for adding um, uh, washing fluid to wash the fluid to the rear window. Um, the previous owner took the, the, the wiper arm off, but we have the wiper arm and they got a factory cap to go on it. Um, so that's there. Um, easily, easy thing to switch back. Go ahead and take a look under the hood here real quick. There's the 2.6 liter engine. Super clean turbo. Everything's just super clean on this car. Let me go ahead and... Sorry about that. Neighbor decided to run the weed eater for sex, so I had to shut off the video, but I'm going to go ahead and Put you here on a tripod and uh, jump in the car and start it real quick. All right, see it starts right up. Idle's great. 
here's some extra belts for the auxiliaries and for the AC compressor. Take a closer look here under the hood. Not sure if these were factory or someone added them. They're little plastic uh, protectors on the paint. I assume someone added them to keep from scratching up the paint and damaging it here where it rides on the bump stops. All right. If there's anything uh, specific you'd like to see up close, anything I didn't didn't cover or something you want me to go back and so you can have a closer look at, just let me know, let Jesse know, and uh, I can come back out and, and, and get that for you.